Hey yo, welcome. Day two. I'm here. It's your boy Anthony Crown, and these are your top five tips to gain more confidence. Okay. So, uh, quickly, man, I'm gonna run down a few of my, you know, tips to build your confidence up. Something we all, you know, can can benefit from. Something that we have, you know, in, di in different points of our life, we may have low self-esteem, low confidence, um, and there are a lot of factors that go along, you know, with, with that, that, that come along with having that lack of confidence. Um, so let's get right into it, okay? Um, number one is learning to love yourself. Now, how do you do that? Learning to, lo to love yourself is first, being appreciative of everything that you have, everything that you are, um, finding out the good attributes of your life, and being okay with that, okay? And you may not be where you want to be in life. You may not, may not have reached the goals that you want to, you know, attain, but... If you just look at the good things that are happening into your life, if you focus on the good and begin to appreciate that, you know, that can build self-love, right? Because you can't have confidence if you don't have self-love. And so sometimes you even need to look in the mirror and say to yourself, you know, I love myself, you, I love you. <laughs> uh, it may seem weird to do that, but at the same time, what plays in our subconscious mind is the kind of the things that plague us outwardly, plagues our, our confidence, you know, um, make, making us have social anxiety and not being able to talk to people or just not being sure of our own abilities, you know. And so some of those, you know, some of those things we got to do, we just got to learn to love ourselves first in order to have that optimal confidence, you know. And... That means like ridding yourself of negativity, you know, trying to find ways to only pour positive things into your life. It may seem hard sometimes, depending on your environment, the people you're around, but those are things you can control for the most part. Maybe not your environment right now, but yeah, build your confidence out by, by loving yourself. Number two, Daily affirmations, right? Now, I'm sure people have heard of the uh, law of attraction and, you know, where like attracts like and things like that. But daily affirmations are, are, are key in, you know, programming your subconscious mind. And, you know, if you have positive outward self-talk, it should influence the inner talk, right? Because that's where your confidence really lies, you know? That's where your, your true, you know, essence of who you are, really, that's where it lies. So, if you say your daily affirmations, like, you know, looking in the mirror once again, saying I love myself and um, I am wealthy, I am healthy, you know, and just kind of doing those things on a daily basis, right? Daily affirmations can build confidence because eventually, you know, your subconscious mind hears all of these things on a daily basis and it begins to believe these things, right? Um, having faith, you know, I'm not here to, you know, push religious beliefs on you guys and, um, you know, tell you to subscribe to the things that I believe in, but Having some kind of faith system, you know, within your, you know, the way you affirm, like, who you want to be and what you are is things that build your confidence. So think about that every day. Get you a few, you know, write a few affirmations down on some paper. That's what I do. And or in your notes in your phone and repeat them daily, you know, maybe five times a day in the morning. When you first wake up, you know, those are some things. And also it'll help you start setting, setting goals and um, keeping yourself accountable to some of the things that you want to do and that you want to become, 
right? Because you can look at your life and say, man, I'm kind of poor right now. I don't have no money. Um, I don't like my job. Um, but you, you are what you think about the most, right? And if you're doing these daily affirmations, eventually, man, you're going to start changing some behaviors that can, you know, affect your, your outcome in a positive way. And that's going to build the confidence, you know. Um, another thing is like, you know, when they say practice makes perfect, right? If you're a basketball player and you want to be, you know, confident in your skills, you got to practice every day. So same thing with daily affirmations. you got to do it every day in order to build that confidence up and in order for it to become like a part of your life. You know what I'm saying? So number two, daily affirmations. Number three, exercise and eat right. Now, one thing we know is that health is very important, right? Um, and so having a healthy diet can enhance your mood for the better. Uh, depression can be brought upon by, you know, eating terrible food, food that has no, no value and no substance, uh, high in sugars. These are all things that plague your mind, right? And if you're eating more healthy, eating more things that are like, you know, feeding your body the right way, you know, giving you positive, giving you energy, like real fuel, real fuel, like green vegetables, you know, um, meats, you know, protein. Uh, those things are feeding your body the right things, the right nutrients, the right vitamins that also enhance your mood and your mood affects your confidence, your mood affects your, you know, ability. And pairing that with exercise, right? Why do I say exercise? Because for one thing, like, you know, aesthetically, if you want to look better, exercise is going to help along with the, with the, with the solid diet. And also exercise, um, you know, it gets your, you know, adrenal glands working and your, you know, serotonin and things like that. And also building your strength and your endurance builds your confidence as well. And also having the discipline to stick to some kind of routine, like going to the gym three times a week, five times a week, or however you want to do it. Those things build confidence, right? Also, when you can look in the mirror and be pleased with what you see, right? That affects your confidence in a positive manner. So, like, there's, there's times, I mean, and, and it's not to say that the only way to, you know, to be confident is to, you know, have, have six-pack abs and have, you know, shredded muscle. Because you can be heavy and still be confident and still be sure of who you are and never exercise, right? But I'm just saying, you know, a lot of, a lot of our issues, you know, are dealing with, our, our actual health, you know, actual health. So exercise daily, man. Just get into something. Get in some kind of routine. Whether it be, you know, playing ball every day, you know, lifting weights, running. Just develop some, some positive habits like that, you know. And those will build some confidence in you too, you know. And, you know, going to the gym helps you meet new people, things of that nature. Can enhance your dating life. All of these things. And moving along, number four, read books. Read books. And, and to me, reading, you know, personal development, business books, self-help, whatever you want to call it, those things, you know, nonfiction things, autobiographies, reading can, can, can first expand your mind beyond your surroundings, right? And help you to escape sometimes your your own personal reality, right? And also hearing how other people triumph and how other people, you know, tend to become the people that they become, right? But also just just enhancing the knowledge that you have on the inside. When you have knowledge of 
you know, many different things, you know, in business and, and your surroundings, the environment, and just reading just like, you know, I think, and also reading out loud, it builds confidence because, you know, a lot of people have social anxiety with speaking. So practice reading out loud uh, and also just practice reading just to have, you know, more knowledge in your, in your brain because the more you know, the more sure you are and you know when you're in a conversation with people you can you can add value to the conversation instead of you know not knowing certain things because you're not well informed about a lot of things and it doesn't have to just be books it could be the newspaper it could be magazines whatever you know learn how to you know be a well-rounded person to build your confidence so read books people and one day I'm gonna do a video on like some books that I'm that I'm gonna be reading. Like I'm gonna be reading um, it's this book by Dan Grizzoli, Millionaire Secrets, right? And I've started the book, but I haven't finished it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it this month, probably within a week or so, and read another book. And every time I read a book, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna start, you know, giving you guys some um, um, book reviews on some of the things that I read. Just to enhance, you know, just show you guys what I'm doing, you know, for my own self-improvement, right? And last but not least, social media break, number five. Take a social media break. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of times, now, unless you're just, unless you're selling a product on social media and you're doing something productive on social media, a lot of times we can get caught up in the lives of other people right because one thing social media does is it gives a heavily filtered view into people's lives you think that everybody is living their best life because they're giving you their best pose and best picture and you're looking at your life like man they look like they're having the greatest time ever and i'm not and they have a nice car and i don't they have a lot of money that they're flashing on camera and i don't have that much money um he has his shirt off i can't take mine off she has a big butt i don't if you're a lady <laughs> um all of these things that so these cues in our brain that are showing us that you know constant reminders that your life is nothing and their life is somebody else's life is everything right it's really not the truth right but if you let that stuff get into your spirit, get into your mind, get into your, you know, your thoughts, it can affect your confidence. And sometimes we just hide behind social media and, and, and kind of, you know, fantasize about stuff that is not going on with us, right? And so sometimes take a break from social media. Take a break and break away and really start, like I said, getting into some of these things that I just said that you should try to do, you know, um, Loving yourself, daily affirmations, um, exercising, eating right, reading. Those things that you do outside of social media can enhance your life. And, you know, also just just creating different habits. Because it's, sometimes it's not even that, you're, that you really even care about what's going on on social media, but it's also the fact that it's a habit. It's just habit. It's just habitual. You just, you know, I know I find myself sometimes just getting on my phone and always looking, always opening the apps. So sometimes I just take them off my phone, right? Just so I won't be, you know, because think about it, all the time that you're wasting daily, all the time that you're wasting daily, even if you have an iPhone, they tell you how much time you spend on, on, on your phone, how much screen time you have. And, you know, and I know watching this video is part of that, you know, you, you're watching me. So if you're watching me and you're seeing like, you know, you could be doing something else better, honestly, right? But I'm here to let you know that. So after you watch this video, turn me off, turn YouTube off, uh, log out of Twitter, log out your Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever the case may be, and do something for yourself, right? Build you. And when you build you, man, it's going to be... You're gonna see yourself like a little more invigorated and also just learn how to be out in the world 
like social media can take you away from the world in a way. Like, even though you're like that much closer to people because you can like reach to somebody in Virginia and you live in Chicago and and all you got to do is just send them a message on social media. But it's easy to type something to somebody versus actually speaking to someone in person. So if you want to work on your confidence, you know, log off social media, go outside, you know, go to a, you know, go to the gym, talk to people at the gym, go to a coffee shop, speak to the barista, um, speak to the person next to you, just strike up a conversation, you know, um, join a club, like join some kind of a book club, you know, whatever, the, whatever it is, join some kind of league where they, you know, they got basketball leagues for amateurs, you know, join something like that. Um, just get yourself out here to, to meet, you know, meeting new people. If you, if you're looking to date, um, of course, yeah, everybody wants to hop in the DMs these days, but, you know, it's nothing better than having the skills of literally being able to speak to somebody in person. Because what's going to happen if all your connection with somebody is digital? And when you get around them, how do you know how to interact? you got to practice. You have to practice speaking to people, like, <laughs> in person. Plain and simple. So, that's it for today, and it's your boy Carl Anthony. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.